All right, the last uh, drugs, and, and a lot of these, well, all of these are covered. Uh, if you're interested at some later point in time, usually each, every other spring, I teach a class in addictions, and we cover each of these drugs in um, greater uh, depth and um, specificity. Um, the, the, the next drug, last drug set uh, I want to cover is uh, um, hallucinogens. And hallucinogens, there are two uh, drugs specifically. One is uh, LSD, um, and LSD is lysergic acid diethylamide, diethylamide, and it was actually created, and the creator experimented on himself, and he described um, these intense kaleidoscopic kind of colors. Um, his his uh, uh, his name was Albert Hoffman, and uh, that's when he first discovered it. There was subsequent um, uh, somewhat infamous studies on LSD and the impact, thinking that it would um, uh, increase functioning in terms of processing information. Um, the, the problem with this is that uh, the trip itself is fairly um, unpredictable depending on the person. And because of that, then, uh, the person can um, have a pleasant trip, uh, or they can go from uh, euphoria itself to um, detachment uh, to uh, all-out panic uh, because of some of the uh, hallucinations um, that uh, the person experiences as a result of um, LSD itself. Context matters a lot, by the way, in, in that uh, context. A lot of times what you saw was uh, teenagers and other people experimenting with LSD, um, kind of hunkering down in somebody's room with lights and music, and, and they would experience all of those things in very, very different ways. Uh, the, the sensations, interestingly enough, are very similar to near-death experiences that people experience or that talk about um, having, and the experiences in LSD seem very similar uh, in nature. The second one, which is the one that probably creates the most debate, is marijuana, and uh, it is a mild hallucinogen, and but the debate lies uh, all around uh, the, the active ingredient, uh, THC, um, tetrahydrocannabinol. Uh, and and this, this ingredient itself is what you see in, in these medical dispensaries for medical marijuana. Um, they'll bake it into brownies and cookies and uh, et cetera. And when it's when it's ingested that way, uh, its effect is, is not as profound, although you do see the pain relieving effect that many people will talk about as a result of uh, marijuana, medical marijuana. Um, it, smoking it uh, essentially uh, moves it into the bloodstream far, far faster, but of course all manner of other toxins enter the body at the same time uh, when it uh, uh, um, is ta uh, in t when there's intake like that. The big question mark here is has to do with psychological dependence and whether or not um, it is a uh, addictive drug. Uh, recently, uh, there is uh, now um, driving while um, intoxicated with, with marijuana. Um, a little bit like driving under the influence, but under uh, driving under the influence of marijuana itself. And so driving and, and marijuana have become, have jumped into the uh, limelight because of, uh, it, of the effect that it has on slowed reaction time um, and judgment that it comes into play when somebody is high on uh, marijuana. So it's not nearly as innocuous as, as oftentimes um, teenagers like to think. So 
Those are the hallucinogens. Uh, and let's uh, turn our attention now to the big picture when we talk about the influences of drug use itself.